Would you buy a brown bike? I am Anonymous Biker USA. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. You can see in front of me a 2019 Harley Davidson Heritage Softail with the 107. Gonna take this for a ride today and do a little review, see what we think about it, and share it with you guys. So, first off, what do you think of the color? That brown. Not sure I'm a big fan of the brown. But if you're looking for a review on the 114, check the little box right up here because I also did a review on the Heritage 114, so you can take a look at that as well. So let's get on the bike, give a little review, see what we think, and then we'll get off later and we'll do all the specs and a walk around. So first impressions, just sitting on the bike, extremely comfortable, nice size windscreen, handlebars are very comfortable, mirrors, decent size. So let's start this guy up and see what happens. Classic Harley sound. Big clunk of the gear. Nice floorboards. So let's see what we got here. Let's see how this is doing U turns. Check to see how nimble it is. Pretty nice. All right, so you can get an 18 to 20 foot U-turn pretty easy on this, right out of the box. Brakes feel good. Comfortable seat. And this is just a very classic bike in the Harley lineup. This bike is super utilitarian because it's got the side bags and you can put a sissy bar on the back. And you, you could easily do big road trips with this bike because it's comfortable enough yet great and nimble enough to just ride around town every day. So. Super useful, super utilitarian. Suspension on it is great. I mean, it's taking the bumps real well. And this is a very wavy street, like whoom, whoom, whoom. So, good street to test it out on. Clutch is easy to pull back. the brakes feel downshift the engine braking is good yeah brakes are grabby yeah brakes are good so the color is a, a brown I don't know how you guys feel about it it's okay I don't think I'd buy it but not here for the color we can pick a different color just want to feel how this bike rides and performs as a digital tack and a digital gear indicator as well as a digital gas tank uh, display right here so this little traffic here Rides along nice in third gear. It's not chugging, it's not lurching, it's not doing any of that. Throttle response is even. Come on, man, I don't wanna get pinned in between these cars. Uh, but once we get away from this traffic, we'll hit a road where there's a little more room and we can take it through some turns, see what it has. It's 
got some good get up to it when you get on the throttle. Railroad tracks, let's see how it handles them at a decent speed. Nice. I took those pretty quick, about 35 miles an hour. And uh, felt pretty good. Didn't feel like the Sporty 48. <laughs> Obviously. Cool Jeep. So typical Harley controls. Left and right turn signals on each handlebar. Left and right. Horn. I beams on your left. Kill switch, start switch on your right. Is nice and nimble really gets down in those turns low responsive very nice this is a good sized bike so for being as big as it is and being as nimble as it is is impressive I park and do the walk around I'll do some good slow shots of this bike for you guys and then uh, I'll put all the, the specs on the screen so you can see them So let's take a look. You got the classic wire wheel, the Heritage logo, very nice. Big beefy front forks. A look from the front. These side bags aren't bad, soft, like covered leather. Good size, pretty deep. This has the passenger rear seat with the pad and the luggage rack on the back, which is nice. Pretty nice bike. What do you guys think of the Heritage 107? Leave it in the comments below. Do you own a Heritage, the 107 or the 114? And what do you feel is the biggest difference? Obviously we know the engine, but curious as if you rode both of them, what you think? Seat height is super low. I mean, any anybody can flat foot this bike unless you're like five foot. But easy to handle. Handlebars are in a good position. This uh, windscreen is detachable, so you can ride with or without it. Nice feature. And it for me is just about nose level, so I can see over the windscreen. I was on the interstate and I was getting some head buffeting when I was hitting 7580. Oh yeah, this has got some get up. Get up to 90 pretty quick. Plenty of pull, lots of torque. Nice, very nice. Guys, that's the review of the Harley Heritage 107. Please like, share, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Let you know when I have content coming and it helps support the channel. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the ride. And...
Don't forget. I am Anonymous Biker USA.